Crack Key Method for Strawberries If you wish to learn about growing strawberries using the Crack Key Method, we will let you know in this post. A Crack Key Method is a form of passive hydroponic method and it is known as the simplest form of hydroponic system. This type of simple hydroponic technique is named after Bernard Kratke who's a researcher at the University of Hawaii. You can grow various plants such as herbs, leafy greens, pepper, or tomatoes, as well as strawberries successfully using the Kratke technique. Kratke Method The Kratke Method is another great way of growing various plants without the use of soil or dirt. The plants are suspended above a nutrient solution and it's a clean and productive way of gardening. The only difference is Kratke technique does not make use of an air pump or aeration for air and water circulation. Therefore, no electricity is needed. How to grow strawberries with Kratke method. There are two ways you can grow strawberries from. You can grow strawberries from seeds or a young strawberry plant. However, we recommend you grow strawberries from young plants because growing them from seeds might take a while to get results. Growing Strawberries with Young Plant For growing strawberries using the Kratke method, you will need the following materials. Container to serve as a reservoir for holding nutrients. Net cups. A cover lid or grow tray to insert the net cups. Growing media such as hydrotons balls, pebbles, rock wool, cocoa core, etc. Healthy young strawberry plants. To grow strawberries using young strawberry plants, you will need to obtain a healthy young plant either from the soil or from an existing hydroponic strawberry garden. Make sure you rinse off the roots if you are taking your strawberry plants from the soil. Next, get your net pots and slide the little plants into the net pots. Fill the net pots with your desired growing medium to support your strawberry plant. Try gently pull some roots of the young plants so that they can come out at the bottom of the net pots. By doing this, you can perfectly set the roots to sit in the nutrient-filled water. Only the tips of the roots should touch the nutrient solution, we don't want any part of the upper plant submerged in water. The gaps between the roots supply oxygen to the plants from inside the nutrient container. Kratke Nutrient Solution Now you can set them in your Kratke Nutrient Solution. Supply your setup with some grow lights if you're growing indoors. However, if you're growing outdoor, find a good sunny spot in your yard and you're good to go. You should begin to see a new leaf and root growth in a couple of days. After about a month, you should notice some good growth with your strawberry plant with flowers and broad leaves. You should also begin to see some little strawberries growing. When the nutrient solution has almost been exhausted, your strawberry plant should have been ready for harvest. This means a single nutrient solution should be enough to go for a growing cycle and no need for replacement. However, if you notice the nutrient solutions are almost completely dried or used up, you should replace them. Strawberry Runners When strawberry plants get fully established, they will begin to shoot out runners. It will be a great thing if you can cut and replant or clone these runners to another setup so you can have some new strawberry plants. This will also help trim their edges so they don't look too bushy. Recommended Temperature for Kratke Strawberry Temperature is one of the most crucial requirements for strawberry plants. Without the right temperatures, your plant will be slow in flower and fruit yield therefore, no production good growth and production. The appropriate temperature range for strawberries is around 60 to 70 degrees. Light Requirements Strawberry plants usually consume a lot of energy. Therefore, the appropriate light requirements we recommend for your strawberry plants will be 14 to 16 hours daily. This way, your strawberry plant will be well established and yield plenty of fruits. Harvesting After about 8 to 10 weeks of planting your strawberry, they should start showing their lovely bright red colors. This means they should be ready for picking. What can you grow with the Kratke method? The Kratke method is a simple way to create a vegetable garden in an urban setting. It's an easy to grow and versatile system, requiring little space and only the time and effort it takes to plant your seeds and water them every few days. It's also a great way to enjoy fresh vegetables right from the garden. 
Here are some of the most common vegetables you can grow with the Kratky method. Arugula is one of the easiest plants to grow in the Kratky method. This cool weather herb is a great addition to any salad or pasta dish. If you want a quick harvest, you can start arugula seeds indoors a month or two before planting out. In cooler climates, wait until the last week of March or first week of April to plant outside. Asparagus asparagus is another favorite. It's not only delicious, it's one of the earliest vegetables to mature. You can start asparagus indoors in late February or early March and transplant outdoors after all danger of frost has passed. If you grow in a warm climate, you can expect your asparagus to be ready for harvest in about six weeks. I recommend growing your own because they are much fresher than what you can find at a store. Celery can be planted in May in cooler climates and in July in warmer climates. It will produce for about two months. Chives, carrots, and cauliflower are another great plant to grow with the Kratky method. Can you grow strawberries using Kratky method? You can certainly grow strawberries using the Kratky method. The only thing to keep in mind is that it will take a while for the strawberries to mature. You can start with seeds or transplants. Using Kratky method Kratky method is a way of growing strawberries in a small area. It's an old method that was used by people in the past. You can still find it being used today for growing strawberries. The Kratky method is simple and requires very little equipment. You can do this all by yourself. There are many ways to grow strawberries using the Kratky method. You can grow them in pots or planters, but a good place for growing strawberries is a sunny spot in your garden. If you have a lot of room in your garden, you can also plant them in rows. You will need to get started with your strawberries by planting them. You can either buy them from a store or you can start them from seed. The seeds are tiny and very fragile, so it's best to buy them already planted. They should be planted right away because they take a long time to grow. Once you have your plants, you will need to keep them watered. If they dry out, the leaves will wilt and the fruit will be damaged. You will need to water them at least once every day for about 10 days after planting. After that, they will need to be watered every other day. How do you start the Kratky seed? If you start the Kratky seed, then you need to wait until it has germinated. You can do this by placing the seed in a paper cup, with a plastic wrap and water on top of the cup. Check the cup every day and make sure that there is enough water. If you don't want to use the paper cup, you can use an old, clean coffee cup or even a flower pot. You can start to plant your seedlings as soon as they are about 5 centimeters tall. As long as you plant them in a sunny spot, you should be fine. Final say on Kratky Method Strawberries Growing strawberries using the Kratky Method is pretty easy and beneficial. It is a soil-free method that will result in abundant fruit production all year round. You also get to enjoy the fresh and juicy fruits at the comfort of your home. If you liked this video don't forget to like and subscribe.